Hello and welcome to an edition of ClickCentral.com. Um, um, today we're going to talk about um, the search objects. Now most people when they create a dashboard um, will put in a search object for customers. Um, very easy to do. Icon on the top, search object. Uh, and they usually just straight away pop it in and then position it onto the dashboard and say, hey Presto, we now have a lovely search object which you can use. Now that's fine, um, you know, works well. Um, it's worth sort of exploring the properties um, of the search object to see a little bit more what you can do um, with that. So we right click onto there and hit properties. So first of all, on the general sheet, um, we'll look at the options here. Now we can search in all fields, or we can break out a comma-separated list of fields, um, or we can actually select the fields that we want ourselves. It's worth mentioning the all fields um, option. Any fields that are set with the hide prefix command, in other words, the made system fields, will not be included in any search. This is what I found most interesting though, it's actually the default search mode, it's used the default at the moment. But you've got three options, you've got your wildcard search, your fuzzy search and the normal search. Now the two that I sort of stick with is the normal search and the wildcard search. Now the normal search um, is more efficient, so in other words if you're not typing in, um, it works on the principle that you know what you're searching for really, um, while the, the wildcard search is for people that perhaps don't know entirely what they're searching for but have got an idea of it. So what I do with my designs is slightly different to this is um, I'm going across here and I've already inserted this into um, the dashboard. So I've got a toggle button now which will toggle between a normal search which is actually the default when the dashboard loads and a wildcard search and that's done very simply just by setting variables as part of the actions and there's actually two search boxes one on top of the other and again using the layout properties you can decide which one is going to be shown again search type equals n that's a normal search if it equals w which would be the other search object that's now currently hidden uh, let's go on to that search side of you that's obviously the hidden one it's now visible and we're just sort of cycling between the two so normal search is very efficient from click view point of view when you're looking at large data sets and really typically that would be where people would start from. So for instance, I'm interested in products um, from Chicago. So I understand immediately that I'm typing in Chicago and straight away I can find the ship city and customers in Chicago. But there may be another instance, maybe I think that uh, <coughs> I understand that there's, there's an ID, uh, I know that it's got a 51 in it but I'm not sure about the rest of it but if I type 51 in that's not what I'm looking for so for that instances uh, users can use a wildcard search which is less efficient because it puts an asterisk before and after the the search so here we found the product code which I'm after 51 but if you sort of investigate that a little bit more so the 5 would bring anything up within the 5's any part within the string is picking up a 5. So you see how that differs from the, the normal search. As soon as we type in the C, it's actually the beginning of each word is bringing up the C and not the C's within the words. Uh, and that's the difference between the normal search and the wildcard search. So that's it. A little bit of a quick run through on the search object, how I use them. It's just an extra little bit of added value. Um, the, the sort of ex the dashboard slightly more user friendly than it would be if you were just to, to leave it as is. Thanks very much for watching. Again, clickcentral.com is where my blog is. Lots of videos on there. Plus as well, obviously, on the YouTube channel. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. All the details are on my blog. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.